Hello, everybody out there. Welcome to the stream, and happy Friday. Um, as you guys see, we have a guest today, Sandy. I wanted to make sure she was in here today, because uh, today all of my roommates went on a trip. So, like, right outside, I took my lunch break. I went up there, and Sandy was just like, <gasps> people. <laughs> I think she got lonesome, so I'm like, no, I'm going to make sure you're with me in this stream. Just to make sure that she's good. She didn't fight me either. Like, there are some days where I try to bring her into my studio and she fights me. She's like, no, I don't want to go down there. But this time I just, I, I said like, hey, want to go to the studio? She sprinted right to the door and she just sat there. She's like, you're not going in there without me. I'm like, good. I want you to just stick here with me. Yeah. Sandy, you want to say hi to the people? Say hi to the people. Yeah. She was in my lap like right before the countdown started, but then she was just like, "Nope, I want on the I want on the couch now." Almost done with your short film's animatic. Nice, and thank you, Kristen Nicole, for resubbing. Uh, how are you, Johan and Sandy, doing? Uh, pretty good for the most part. Uh, I know Sandy. Sandy was just a little lonesome today, but she's good now. And Johan, he's fine. I'm sure you'll hear from him later. Johan, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, yeah? Yeah, yeah, he's doing fine. So, yeah. Uh, hey, Ryan, remember I told you that I was not sure if your high school is going to do something as a reunion? Well, guess what? They're going to have a bonfire. Oh, that's cool. We're having a little bonfire. Uh, hey, Ryan, my kitten is with me watching you because she insisted. <laughs> She's looking at Sandy in the background. <laughs> well, hopefully your cat's okay with Sandy. <laughs> you thought I was starting a game called Prankster Paradise? <laughs> nope. It didn't show the category. It should. I put the game in there. Yeah, it's in there. I, so it just didn't have it in the alert, but it was. Uh, it's on there. I should. I put it on there. But yes, so, uh-huh. Uh, we're not doing a game called Prankster's Paradise. <laughs> we're doing some Kingdom Hearts. And the level is Prankster's Paradise, because I guess they couldn't go with Pleasure Island. So, there must have been, like, some copyright or something. I don't really know the reason why, but... Mm. That's probably the only reason that changed. Yeah, it shows now. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm scared to go because you don't have a boyfriend and you're not married. Well, I mean, you, you can still like you can you don't have to necessarily go with a boyfriend or a husband. You can like just get a friend or two and go that way. It doesn't have to be like that's what I do all the time. I get invited to all these events and they're always like bring a plus one. So I bring I bring Paul most of the time just because you know he's my best friend. Or I'll find, like, another friend to go with me. I've never... No, that's not true. I don't want to say I've never taken somebody who I was interested in in the romantical sense as far as, like, either... A, well, I was going to say a girlfriend or a wife, but I've never had a wife. I've had girlfriends. Um, I have taken... I did have a girlfriend for a short time, and I took her to one or two events, but the vast majority have been my friends. So... There ain't nothing wrong with that. Bring a friend. Don't go alone, though. Don't go alone, though. I keep making that mistake lately. Like, I keep going to these events, and, like, my friends are busy. So I'm like, I'll go alone. And then I regret it, like, every single time. So, like, bring bring a friend. Bring a friend. It doesn't have to be a romantical interest. It just needs to be a friend. How old is Sandy? She is... How old is she now? I keep telling everybody she's three. Yeah, she's three. She'll be four. She'll be four come December. That's what it is. How's Paul doing today? He's doing pretty good. I know he's going to come by later this evening, but I don't think he, I don't know if he's going to make it here to be part of like the end of the stream or something, but he's going to come later. Take you on to events. <laughs> the, he's gone to a couple. <laughs> Actually, I guess you could say he's gone to all of them. <laughs> he was just in a disguise. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my good golly molly. Uh, which hair looks best on Amity? Mint green or lavender? I, I kind of like.
like the lavender better. You're beginning to notice you and Johan have a love-hate relationship. Kind of. Kind of. You know, when people are around or, like, he gets on screen, he's kind of a butt. You know, he comes up here and he's just, like, trying to mess with me as much as possible. But behind the scenes, he's actually a pretty cool dude and he actually cares. But, yeah. Johan is his disguise. <laughs> you could say you and Johan are attached at the hip. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> it all started when he summoned that demon chicken. <laughs> I never should have trusted Johan with that. You saw the new Pokemon impressions video? Good. Good. I'm happy to hear Dutch people are watching it. What's my opinion on Beetlejuice? I... I'm going to be honest. I barely remember the movie. I barely remember. Like, I remember I watched it and I was like, oh, I know of the character. And then that animated show came out and I remember watching an episode or two. I think I watched the cartoon first and then watched the live action movie. I remember it being a huge deal when I was a kid and I, I didn't understand why. And as an adult, I still don't understand why. Because I'm like, it's not a bad movie, but I don't understand why everybody loves it as much as they do. I guess I'm missing something dramatically. <laughs> and then apparently now it's like a, a whole thing with the musical and that I didn't know about till after I made that video. But apparently Beetlejuice is a thing. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. But then again, like Tim Burton stuff in general, I don't normally get into that much. I don't dislike it. I'm not sitting over here like hating on Nightmare Before Christmas or Frankenweenie or... Actually, I've never seen Edward Scissorhands, but I feel like I should. Uh, I've never seen Edward Scissorhands. I've seen Beetlejuice. Uh, I saw his Dumbo. <laughs> I saw his Alice in Wonderland. Um, but yeah, I don't dislike Tim Burton, but I also don't super like him either. I kind of go in expecting like, I'm sure I'll walk away fine with it. And that's kind of what I do. It's just that. Oh, thank you for the for the bless you. <laughs> Let's hope Mickey behaves in the stream today. Well, that's on Epic Mickey. Today we're doing uh, Dream Drop Distance. So, he might be there. He might be there. He, he, Mickey might be there a little bit. I need to see Edward Scissorhands. I've heard that's, I've heard that's a big movie, and I should see it. So, I definitely want to check it out at some point. I just haven't gotten around to it. Here's some Disney characters you drew. Pretty impressive, aren't they? Ooh, pretty impressive, aren't they? <laughs> yes. Good job. Speaking of Tim Burton, why does Charlie and the Chocolate Factory give you nightmares? Did I say that? I've only seen it once, so I can't really talk about it that much. Um, did I like it as much as the original version? Not by a long shot. Like, not even a little bit. <laughs> um, it was fine. But, yeah, if I'm going to watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I'm going to watch the old one. All the time. Never cared much for Tim Burton either, but you like Beetlejuice, though. I don't dislike Tim Burton. I just think... I don't know. I guess I just don't really like his visual style enough to, like make that cover up the rest of his storytelling and stuff because most of the storytelling i'm like it seems like overly simplistic and kind of flat but i think the thing that if you like tim burton you love his art style which is a unique style it's not one i personally get into but i can appreciate it but yeah no i don't really want it i don't really want to see more Oh my goodness. Uh, my kitty keeps trying to grab the phone every time she hears you, Brian. She's so confused. Quit grabbing the phone! Quit grabbing the phone, kitten! Edward Scissorhands is on Disney Plus. Is it really? That was Disney? Well, it was probably like Touchstone. Was it Touchstone? I'm gonna look it up now. I'm gonna look it up because I don't know. It is on Disney Plus. Um, does it say what company did it? Details. 
Probably not. No. Oh, Winona Ryder. <laughs> I didn't know Winona Ryder. Oh, she's right there on the picture. She's just young. <laughs> I'm, I'm expecting to see Stranger Things. <laughs> but this movie came out in like what? 19. It, it's older than I am. It's older than I am, but only by like a year. But still. Uh, I'm guessing it was a touchstone movie. Which wouldn't make sense because Nightmare Before Christmas was also a touchstone film. Uh, so that one makes sense. Oh, it was made by Fox. Oh, oh, it's a Fox film. So if you guys don't know, Touchstone is actually a division of Disney that was made so they could make stuff that was off Disney brand. It was something I think Michael Eisner did back in his day. Um, Cause he's like, yeah, I want to make more PG-13 and R-rated movies. And they're like, well, you can't do that with Disney's label on it. He's like, we're going to make a new studio. Call it Touchstone. Disney owns it. We get all the money. But... We don't have the Disney name on it. So, boom. So, there you go. That's what it was. Because uh, they did release Nightmare Before Christmas under that. Because if you notice, you go watch the original copies and stuff, you don't see the word Disney on any of it. Because they were like, that's too far off Disney's brand. But then it did really well. So, then they threw it onto Disney's brand. <laughs> oh, good golly molly. Oh, yeah, Brian. Krispy Kreme is going to celebrate their birthday next week. You get a chance to win a free glazed donuts for a year every month. Oh, my goodness. That sounds amazing, but it's also something I should not have. It would destroy. I'm already not in great health. That would make it so much worse. So much worse. Uh, Turner and Hooch, the Tom Hanks movie, is also touched on. I've never watched that, but I should. It's Tom Hanks. I love Tom Hanks. I should definitely do that. Which cartoon baby looks more terrifying? Ice Age Baby or Tin Toy Baby? Oh, Tin Toy Baby all the way. Yeah, the Ice Age Baby's not the cutest thing in the world, but have you looked at the Tin Toy Baby? That's a monstrosity. <laughs> the Ice Age Baby is... It's just a unique stylization. The Tin Toy Baby, they tried to make this thing look real. And they just, they missed. Bad. And it was also back when CG animation was like still brand new. So it looked bad. Amen, brother. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not even in the same ballpark. Yeah, Billy from to Tin Toy is a little monster. <laughs> The Ice Age baby is pretty cute. The Ten Toy baby is just creepy. Yeah, I, I that's what I'm saying. It's like the Ice Age baby is cute in its own way. Is it traditionally cute? No. I could see why people wouldn't like that design. But I don't know anyone who's sitting over there going, oh, that Ten Toy baby, that was cute. No, that's terrifying. I actually uh, will argue that the, ten, uh, the Ice Age baby is not bad. You guys actually know that Ice Age baby has a name? His name's actually Rosahan. Or Roshan. I don't know how to say it, but it's spelled like O R S H A N. Or maybe it's R O S A H N. H A N. I remember learning this as a kid. Okay, hang on. Oh. So it is like, it's like Roshan. Roshan? I don't know how to say it specifically, but it's R O S H A N. Roshan. Roshan. That's the actual name. Does Tim Burton play in the new Pinocchio coming out, or am I thinking of somebody else? Tim Burton? No. Well, Tim Burton's a director. I don't I don't know how much he's actually been in movies. Are you thinking about Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks is in it. <laughs> The name was never spoken in the film. No, but it was on all the official merchandise. Like, I remember going to McDonald's. It was either McDonald's or Burger King. I remember. I dragged my parents there because I wanted the Ice Age toy. And it actually had Ro uh, Roshan. Roshan. Ro Roshan. Ro I'm just going to say Roshan. Roshan's name on there. And if you look it up, yep, that's the name. Straight from the Ice Age fandom wiki. Yeah. I'm curiously optimistic about the new Pinocchio movie. I am too. 
Tintoy Baby is terrifying. And <laughs> thank goodness they figured it out. <laughs> That's so true. So true. Thank goodness they figured that out because Toy Story was fantastic. Yes. Tom Hanks, that's it. Ah, there you go. The reason why some Gen 6 Pokemon have different voices is usually is because it's usually to differentiate if it's male or female. Okay. Granted, I grabbed these clips uh, outside the context of the episodes because if I did watch every single episode of these shows to prepare for the Pokemon impressions, that's way too much content. <laughs> So I'll go find a clip and just grab it and hope that it works. And yeah, I guess for a couple of them, I found some weird ones. And yeah, that would probably make sense. You, uh, you browse wiki too? Well, no. What I do is I Google something and usually the wiki is the first thing that pops up. I'll admit that. Sometimes I browse a wiki, but very rarely. It's not common. Uh, but yeah. What's my opinion on Shark Tale? <laughs> Might be one of the worst things streamers has ever made. <laughs> oh my goodness. It would have driven you crazy to watch all those episodes. I know, right? And it's not that I dislike the Pokemon anime. I loved it as a kid. In fact, I've even uh, watched a lot of the newer episodes just because I was curious. And I went back and watched some of the original series and... You know, it was fun. It was stupid, but it was fun. Like the stupid, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense kind of thing. But sometimes you want stupid fun. And I'm in the mood for stupid fun most of the time. Because like half these moves don't make sense. And like how can a Pikachu do an electric attack on a Rhy Rhydon and it doesn't work because it's a ground type. But then it hits the nose and it, boop, there you go. It hits the horn. That works now. <laughs> it makes no sense. But... It's fun. It's a fun show that I can, like, turn my brain off and just enjoy. Uh, a few days ago, you went to movie theater after 22 years and saw this Elvis movie who Tom, uh, Tom Hanks is in. Um, okay. Huh. Interesting. I've been contemplating about seeing Elvis. It's been very interesting. Very interesting. When is my next song impression coming out? I have a couple that are in the works right now, but I don't know when they're going to happen. Uh, do I have a Wikipedia page? I think I do. I didn't make it, but I think somebody made one. Hang on. I'm, I'm going to look it up just to double check. Yeah, we're going to do it on this one. So that way I'm not running away from y'all. Sorry. I have two computers in my studio. Uh, I use my PC one to uh, stream and talk to y'all on. But then I've got my Mac. I do like everything on my Mac. So that's why I go to my Mac all the time. But I'll do this one here. Um, um, do, 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 do. I kind of do. I kind of do. Uh, well, not Wikipedia, just Wiki. Let's do that. Um, there's a it's amazing fandom.com. I'm in that wiki. I did not make this one, but I did it. I, I'm I didn't do I'm in it. Good night. Wow, they just kind of went through and just looked up every voice I'd ever... Did they really go through and put, like, every voice I did in that 100 voice impression marathon? Oh, my goodness. Impression characters, Mickey, Donald, Goofy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. They, like, went through everything. Oh, that's hysterical. Hey, let's find out if any of the facts are correct. Okay, well, look. Um... Brian Hall is a voice actor in L.A. Yeah, born August 28th. Yeah, this 29-year-old. No, I'm 30 now. Uh, originally from Mansfield, Texas. Yeah, he studied vocal performance at DBU. Yeah. Uh, quickly gained voice acting attention with his YouTube video, Disney Pixar Things Let It Go, went viral. Yeah, he's known for playing Night Cat on Rescue Dogs. I'm not known for that, but I did it. <laughs> That was like one of the first, it was that and Pup Star were the first two roles that I ever really got in a movie. That should be changed to, he's known for playing Dracula in Hotel Transylvania 4. And, uh, 
YouTube video. <laughs> oh, thank you for gifting a sub. Uh, he loves Disney, Pixar, DreamWorks, Blue Sky Studios, R.I.P., uh, Illumination, and Sony Pictures Animation. Yeah, yeah, I love all those. Uh, he's an impressionist, yeah. His favorite Disney movies are The Little Mermaid, Fantasia, Jungle Book, Dumbo, and Lion King. Those are my favorite Disney movies, yeah. His favorite movies are Lo Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Jurassic Park, Forrest Gump, and The Green Mile. Yeah, those were all pretty good. His favorite voices are King Julian, Winnie the Pooh, Mickey Mouse, Dracula, and Pumbaa. Yeah, they're pretty up there. I think Mickey Mouse got knocked down a couple pegs, but still good. Favorite types of music are... Uh, oh, yeah, this was my... <laughs> I think this was from an old ass Brian. Josh Groban, Haley Western, uh, Catherine Jenkins, Andrea Buccelli. Back in that day, I was really in a kick for all that. I still like them. But that's good. You have to update your website too, Brian. I've updated it kind of recently. I need to go through and probably do a couple more things. I need to go change like the logo and stuff, but that's going to cost money. <laughs> it's going to cost money. Uh, I think your kitty gets most confused when you do a cronk-like voice. When I do a cronk-like voice. Uh, who are my top five favorite actors? Uh, I'm including voice actors in this because voice actors are actors. Uh, Tom Hanks, Jim Cummings, Rob Paulson, Tom Kenny, and I'd throw Chris Pratt in there. Wait, that's only four. Um... Who else? I feel like there's other people I just can't think of right now. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say Sean Astin. I love him. He's awesome. Uh, favorite song somewhere down in Texas. Thrive and I love to laugh. Yeah, those are old songs, but yeah, I don't dislike any of those. Game time. In just a second. I kind of want to keep going through this. We had an awesome time at Magic Kingdom yesterday, except it rained towards the evening, but the rain didn't last long, thankfully. Good. How's your day going, Brian? Pretty good overall. You never tried to Google myself. It gets in your head, especially when there's stuff to look at. I'm just curious what people are writing to see if they actually got it right. Um, his favorite Don Bluth movies are Lamb Before Time and Anastasia. Yeah, I'd say that. He watches Johnny Depp movies like Pirates of the Caribbean, Charlie Chalk Factory, Edward Scissorhands. We just talked about how I'd never seen that. <laughs> that makes me laugh. We just talked about how he didn't, I haven't seen it. And it's like, oh, he loves Edward Scissorhands. I'm like, I've never seen it. Um, I watch Brad Pitt movies like Seven Years in Tibet. Never seen that. Ocean's Eleven. I saw it once, which I, I didn't dislike it. Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas. I did like that one, I'll be honest. And Megamind, loved that one. Okay, they got me on that one. But I'd never seen Seven Years in Tibet. Uh, favorite DreamWorks animation movies, How to Train Your Dragon, Rise of the... Rise of the Guardians? I don't dislike Rise of the Guardians, but I don't like it enough to put it in my top five. Y'all saw my tier list for that. Uh, Madagascar, Mr. Peabody and Sherman? Didn't they put that in mid-tier? And Over the Hedge, that went mid-tier too. You're not going to put Kung Fu Panda up there. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Uh, his favorite Blue Sky movies are Horton Hears a Who. Yeah, I did love Horton Hears a Who. The Peanuts movie. It was probably one of their best, yeah. And Ferdinand. Ferdinand was good, but you didn't put any Ice Age movies? That's like the one franchise that I'm like, I'll defend Ice Age. I know a lot of people won't, but I will. Uh, favorite Sony Oh no! Favorite Sony movies. They didn't even put Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> uh, Cloudy with Chance of Meatballs, Surfs Up, Pirates Band of Misfits, and Spider Man. Granted, I love. I've seen all of those and I like them all. So, I just find that funny. I find that funny. Where'd they put Chicken Little? I didn't see Chicken Little anywhere. It wasn't like a, like a tear or anything. It was just. Here's some stuff about Brian. And I'm like, that's not as true as you think. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It makes me laugh. You love the animation of Rise of the Guardians, but the story needs work. I agree. I, I like the idea of Rise of the Guardians. I think it's a really cool idea. I just think the execution was not super strong. I would love for that to get remade and for a bunch of elements to get fixed because that would be really cool. 
Whoever created that needs to edit all of it. <laughs> you like Peabody and Sherman? I'm not saying it's bad. I was just laughing that I've made videos where I talked about where I ranked every single DreamWorks movie. Peabody and Sherman was not up at the top. What about Mel Blanc? Oh, yeah, I'd throw Mel Blanc up there. That's good. Did I get to meet Selena Gomez when I did Hotel Transylvania? No, I did not meet anybody in the cast for Hotel Transylvania. When you do an animated movie like that, you typically record alone. And especially re-recorded during the pandemic. So, yeah, I was alone. Except for the directors and the producer. Everyone, no one else was there. Okay. Let's get to the game. Okay. What's Flick Rush? Is that a bug's life? <laughs> oh, there's Johan. See why you don't look yourself up up there. No one knows you put yourself. I think it's funny. I don't care. Especially because they're not saying anything that's like mean or demeaning towards my character. I can just tell whoever wrote that hasn't seen some of the recent videos where I talk about it. All right, let me go get Johan. Hello! How are you? Let's see. All in good fun, Brian. Oh, of course! They should have added Hotel Transylvania as one of your favorites because you were in the last one. I know! Well, for Brian. Not for me. But for Brian, yes, that makes all the sense. It's weird. I heard what they were saying. He's never even seen some of these movies. And they're like, oh, he loves that one. Where did I... Where did Brian ever say that? Okay, uh, so we are uh, we have Riku now, but you guys kept telling me we should probably switch to Sora before we jump into the Prince's Paradise, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on. Johan didn't forget his hat. Something. Did I forget my hat at one point? Oh wait. Oh, you mean on the on the hat rack? No, I remember to keep it with me today. I remember that one. Uh, I almost forgot the timer though, so that got said. Oh, thank you, Hufflepuff Disney, for gifting the sub, yeah? You heard your Han's favorite is Chain of Memories. <laughs> we don't need to go down. I never had to play that one, but based on what I saw Brian have to do, yeah, that seems like a little much. Johan, I think you need to tell Brian to calm down a little. Oh, he was just having fun. He was just having fun. Oh, uh, so what is Brian's favorite Blue Sky Studios film? Brian, what's your favorite Blue Sky movie? Probably the first Ice Age. Okay. He said probably the first Ice Age. He does like the Ice Age, yeah? He does like that one a lot. All right, um, we're going to drop. And, uh, yeah, we will bring Sora in and we will start the, uh, the Prankster's Paradise, yeah? Oh, we have, like, next to nothing, yeah? Okay. Uh, do I like fountain pins? I don't dislike fountain pins. Brian and I prefer pencils over everything else, though. Did you steal Brian's food while you guys were alone without roommates? You'll never know. <laughs> yeah. They're going to be gone like all weekend and partially into next week. So Brian's got to, he's like, oh, he's got to figure out what to do with himself because I'm not going to be there the whole time. All right. So Prankster's Paradise. Um, yeah. Let's try to do the drop again, yeah? Okay. So this is when we pop the balloons, yeah? Okay. I'm trying to go faster, but still be able to pop the balloons, and I'm not too good at it. But I am doing my best, yeah? Okay. Here we go. 
Why is everything red above me? Is that bad? It probably is. Did I only get one in all that? Okay, only a hundred balloons left to go. Oh wait, I can do it. Oh! Oh! Oh, that triangle is so helpful! Thank you, chat, for telling me! Why was that? Why was that not something the game is like, hey, this challenge is basically impossible unless you use the triangle button. Oh, that was so much better, yeah? Hey! Johan got gold! Ah, uh, Johan, what would your dragon be if you were not to train your dragon bro? Bryant would be a drunken. I think... You know what? I think Johan would like to do uh, the... The hitty stickleback, the one with the two heads. I think I could pull that off quite well. I don't know if I'd have anyone to drive the other head. Maybe Brian would on occasion. Oh, it just it didn't take me to the land. There we go. Okay, let's go. So I know Brian did this a little bit. Uh just to get the stuff for Jimmy. Did that give me anything? Oh no, it was a I think this happened the first time Brian was here too. He opened the chest, there was something there, and he just left it alone, ran away from it. I feel like I'm doing the exact same thing he did. How am I going to control his sickle back? I don't know. But I feel like that's the best dragon for Johan, yeah? Maybe I can talk to Brian and we'll find another friend that I can totally do the tickle back with. Oh, look at this! It's a Hawaiian roller coaster! Flying high on the Hawaiian roller coaster, right? There you are. Wow. It's not safe for Pinocchio's me. not wearing this the same color garb. Oh, oh that, Three meters. that explains why. I was about to say, wow, you look like you're going What's to like a black light party problem? or something. Ow! Ow! Johan, all you have to do is sit in between the heads and hit a bit with fast and then. There we go, that works! That totally works. I can totally control that. So yeah. I still stand by my decision for the Hitty Super Bat, yeah? Okay. Ow! Okay, we are riding Jimmy. Down all of you! Charging elephant! Okay. There we go. Those look like demented liquor tongues. They kind of do, yeah? It's like Mr. Mime and Lickitung got shoved together. There we go. What does that mean when Jimmy turns red? I don't know. Does anyone else there know what it means? I assume it means like he's about to do a very big attack. But that could be wrong. <laughs> After this fight, equip your Those new keyblade in the second balloon round. Oh, Pinocchio. good. Thank you for reminding me. So, then where's the real Pinocchio? Sora, up there. Look at the top of that tower. That's not the right. real one. Look at Go this on, clothes. They are not the same color. No, come back. Oh, that's its health getting low? I don't like that because he turns red a lot. 
Um, okay, items, keyblades, the druid disc. Oh! We lose some magic, but as we have discussed, Brian and I agree, strength is greater than magic, always. I stand by that. Um, yeah, let's get rid of Fyra and we'll do the other Balloonra, yeah? Because I, I agree, Balloonra is pretty nice. It is pretty nice, I feel safe. Berserk status. Oh, wait, that's what the red means? Oh, I like that thing. Yeah. Whee! Another fake. Oh, I'm sure it is, but that's part of the story, yeah? Gee, Pinocchio. He doesn't look real at all because he's got the he's Come got on. the wrong colors. Go We've got the Mr. Mime Licker Tongues again. Another imposter. Do we have to fight them again? Hmm. There, see him walking. Okay, that one looks real. Well, sure, if that's really him. It is. Don't give up, Jiminy. Come on, let's go. Look at the colors. They don't look like he's going to a rave. So it must be him, yeah? But where was he? Where was he? He's on the bridge, yeah? I think it was the bridge. Pinocchio! Where did you go, yeah? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, ha. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's open that. Okay. Um Where was the Pinocchio? We have another trot me not. Balloonra is nice, but Balunga is just broken in later fights. I'm okay with broken. Uh oh. Okay. That's Johan's time to go. Okay. I will go get Brian now. Alright, you guys. Okay. Oh, it's more of the frogs. Where is your leader? I must fight him again. Alright. So we may over here. Is Pinocchio on the carousel? No. Um, let's pick some height. And see where Pinocchio might be. Pinocchio! And today's your birthday? Happy birthday, official petrol over SP. Happy birthday. Frogs are coming for revenge. <gasps> no! <laughs> Not the revenge! <laughs> No! Well, I never beat their guy. It's, he just blew a kiss at me and ran off. Which was still one of the funniest things that I've ever seen in a video game. That alone has bumped this game up a lot for me. I still have no idea what's going on. And everyone keeps saying I'm not supposed to know until the end, so I'm cool with it. But it's just like, this is the most random thing I've ever played. And I'm okay with it. What, what is with this frog? Why can't I hit it? Pinocchio. Uh oh. I was about to say, Jimmy, gonna get spawned up here. 
Jimmy, just stay down there. Do it. No, Jimmy! All right. Um. Yeah. Huh. Walking to. I guess we need to eventually leave here. It's right here. It's a bunch of question marks, which means we're probably going the right direction. Um, Pleasure Circus. Don't like the way that sounds. Trampoline show. What's this? Oh, it's still trampoline. Is that all y'all got, the trampoline show? Is that all y'all got? Yeah. Oh, what's yeah. what? What are these penguins? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're flowery penguins. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, so it's not just the frogs. Oh, oh, I picked them up in a giant bubble. Oh, that's cool. All right, nice. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah. You guys check it out. Yeah. Hey, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. You got a question? Yeah. You ask me. Yeah. 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 Oh, you turned red. I don't want to hide that. First frogs, now penguins, and then whatever these dudes are. I keep one. I don't know what their names are. I'm sure there's a name. I know I made one, but I don't remember what the name is. But they just remind me. Y'all remember the old honeycomb commercials from like the 90s with that weird little honeycomb monster? And he was always excited about honeycomb, the cereal. They look like that. Do y'all remember him? Oh, a pickle man is what they're called. Yeah. The flowery penguins, I want one. I know, they look cool. Me want honeycomb. I think that was the voice. I don't remember the voice. I just remember, I remember the visuals of the commercial. Like, I just remember, I remember seeing them going, what is this? Oh, can I only pick up ones of the same kind? See, so yeah, I can't get the penguin, but I can get uh, those things. Oh, so I get it. Can I get a panda? I don't know. Die first, maybe. Frogs and penguins, what's next? Lobsters? Ah, maybe. Jimmy, come on, help me. Big birth of somebody. Can you get Martin out here? He'd help me. Okay. Oh. So we can go that way, or. Oh no, that's the way we came in. We can't go any of those ways. Yeah, we gotta go this way. They remind me of Primate from Pokemon. That's, that, that is kind of what they look like. Just to watch me. Sometimes I feel like somebody's watching me. Jimmy! He's trying to get him. He's just like, nobody watches Sora. No! He's chasing after him. I'm gonna pummel you. Sometimes it feels like somebody's watching me. I'm gonna ask you what your favorite commercials are. Um, yeah, yeah, when everyone yeah. catches my attention, I guess. Oh, there you go, Jimmy. Kicking some tail. Look at you. Oh, I like that. Oh, I know, right? Who sings that song? Somebody's watching me. I have no idea. I could not tell you. Oh. Oh, they're all at full. I need to link up with them next time. Yeah, yeah. And just as I said that. Together. Ooh. Now okay. This is very hard to control, but it's amazing. Woo! Yeah. 
What is that? Michael Jackson did that? Like, I remember the one. Uh. 888 to 300 Empire today. Because, like, I remember that one I saw, but I'm like, what was the tune? There we go. <clears throat> Gotta go. I'm celebrating my brother's birthday at, Fro at a Froyo place called Sweet Frog. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, have fun. Hope you have a great time. So say, so I remember the lyrics to freecreditreport.com. Uh, I remember 877 cash now. Do you remember that? I have a structured settlement, but I need cash now. Call JG Wentworth, 877 cash now. I have an annuity, but I need cash now. Call JG Wentworth, 877 cash now. They've helped thousands, so help you too. One dumb sum of cash they will give to you. Ba -ba 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 -ba. If you get long term payments, but you need cash now, call JG Wentworth. 877 cash now. 877 cash now. 877 cash now. 877 cash now. Wow, I'm surprised they did the whole commercial. Call JG Wentworth 877 Cash No. Call No. Oh. I think for now, you two better get out. He's of been here. turned into a donkey. I didn't just sing the entire JG Wentworth yes. commercial. You did. You can knock bouncing foes away. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we're on a trampoline. The one I always remembered was, I don't know if this was uh, specific to my area commercial, but it was uh, it was a carpet cleaning commercial. Uh, this actually sparked many debates in my household because nobody actually knew what they were saying. But the next best thing to do is downward clean. Oh, where did they all come from? That was one in our household because we had a long-term, a long-going debate between whether they said, um, but the next best thing to do or the next best thing to new was downward. I was on the, the next best thing to do was downward clean, but I was grossly alone in that. It was local? Oh, okay. I thought so. I thought it was like a Dallas chain or something. Oh, because y'all never heard of that. Okay, well, there was that one. Pepsi Man. I didn't know Pepsi Man. Oh, I have high jump. Yay! I want high jump. You again? Dad, give it you too. Terra Nord and Zimnis again. This is impossible. It's a Japan only commercial. My series. my, oh. a hollow puppet that's managed to grow a heart. Maybe. Just imagine that. Pinocchio isn't anything like you nobodies. But if Pinocchio could be given one, Stanley shouldn't Steamer, you be yes, able I to have a heart one. inside you too? Stanley Steamer gets carpet cleaner. Maybe we that so. Too. However, do not forget that you yourself are not so very different from us. Uh, uh-uh. I am very different. You take that back. Your kitty is How back now. How am I <laughs> anything like a nobody? That doesn't make any sense. 
Or are they still nobodies? Because now the nobodies are becoming somebodies. Okay. Okay, I guess we'll view now. Oh, wait, no, that's a Chronicle. No, I, I, no, we don't watch the Chronicles. Because they're games we've already watched intensely. Or watched, we played those. Most of them are too watched. Come fuddle, candle. Link portal. Defeat all the spirits. Re achieve victory without using any triangle commands. Oh, I can do that. Okay. No triangle commands. I can do that. This game has a very funny ending. Good. So far, this game just seems to be... Wait, does this count as a triangle command? Because I did not press triangle, so I'm going to say that we're good. And that it doesn't count. Oh, I did get a whole bunch that time. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay. Challenge complete. Good. I did I did it right. Would I rather be forced to watch Cars 2 or Despicable Me 3? Probably Cars 2. Or I don't know. I'm start I started to rewatch it the other day because I wanted to do a Minions video or a Despicable Me video. And as I started watching it, I was bored. And I still think it's the worst out of all of them. But, you know, it wasn't as bad as I remember. But it's still not good. So I don't know. I'd probably still lean towards Cars 2, though. Because I realize I haven't watched Despicable Me 3 since I watched it in theaters. When it came out all those years ago. Uh, wind up way is that the way we came yeah that is the way we came is that what we need to do or is there another place thank you for the stretch speaking of which did I know the regular speak would be for I did not know and I'm not surprised especially with how well Minions is doing in theaters right now holy crud nuggets I was shocked that in its opening weekend, it did better than Lightyear did in like its three week run. That's, that was nuts to me. Which granted, I know there was a whole meme around minions and everything. And yeah, after seeing Lightyear, I don't blame a lot of people for not going to go see it. But I mean, I had almost no interest in seeing the minions. I'm like, I'll go take my niece, but I'm not planning on doing any videos or stuff with it. And then it went nuts and has that meme moot. And I'm like, well, okay, I'm making a video about it now. So there we go. Yeah, yeah, Mega Mind is still better than yeah, any of the yeah. Spickable Me movies. That. 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 David Ray 37A. You get a thumbs up from me, sir. You get a double thumbs up from me. That is right. Mega Mind needs more. Hey, Mega hey, Mind. Hey, yeah, yeah. The Spickle Me One was not a bad movie, yeah, yeah, but was yeah. Mega Mind better? Oh yeah, oh yeah, one hundred percent. So if we're doing the whole, you know, bad guy turned good guy thing or the anti-villain thing. Yeah, it's 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 Mega Mind over to stick with me every day of the week. I guess this is a shocker to you all. I never saw Mega Mind. That's not a shocker because that movie didn't do well, which is sad. I mean, it did well enough, but it wasn't a massive success when it first came out. But I thought it was fantastic. It's definitely worth a watch. Quit watching me! I don't like you. I'm telling you right now, Brian, Mega Mind deserves more than love than minions in a heartbeat. No, here's who actually needs more love than the minions is Minion. Like not minions plural, Minion. The little fish in the gorilla robot body. He was awesome. Minion! I'm gonna take my thing and go! 
Well, have fun on your date. I will. That doesn't even make any sense. I know. I love it. I love it so much. Minion, not minions. Not the but minion needs all the love. It's amazing. Forgot to ask, but if you were the Stabbington Brothers in Rapunzel series, how was it and what was it like? I I was them, but not every iteration of them. I was only them when they were teenagers. And that was just for one episode, so they can't the Stabbington Brothers showed up in a few more episodes and I was not those. I was only the episode where you saw them as teenagers. And that experience was really cool. Especially because I was already a fan of the series when I got hired on to do the job. So I had watched, I was brought on to season three, and I had watched all of season one and two. So I was honestly a little scared that I'm like, am I going to get the whole show spoiled for me because I'm doing this job? It's obviously worth it if I do because, you know, I want this job. Uh, but I didn't get anything spoiled for me, which was even nicer. Because uh, it left on a big cliffhanger season two, and I even got to talk to directors. I'm like, y'all, I just gotta say, like, I'm not just saying this to blow smoke up your butts, but man, I am loving this show. I've watched the first two at first two seasons, and I love it. And they were really excited, and they're like, oh, this is great. And I didn't realize till they told me, it's like, oh yeah, all the songs that you hear in the show are like written by Alan Menken. And I'm like, you cried. Well, it was awesome. I hope they got home safe. Uh, but yeah, no, the experience was great. So. If you guys have seen the episode, I'll tell you guys this. It's not really a huge spoiler. But, like, pe uh, some of the characters go back in time. You must be Sora. Oh, I'll tell the story oh. in a second. Yes, ma'am. And you must be the Blue Fairy. That's right. And I'm afraid that I have grave news. Good Geppetto went off to look for Pinocchio, and he was swallowed by a whale named Monstro. What? Ah, fun times. Have you told Pinocchio Once again, it always happens off screen. Yet? We never see how it yes. happened. And when I told them Geppetto was still oh. alive inside the whale and at the bottom of the sea, those two little ones ran off at once. They're very determined to save him. But that's crazy. I've got to find them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, flashback. Sure. Are we actually going to see it? I was just complaining we don't get to see it. This Let's do it. Monstro? I've heard of him, Pinocchio. He's a whale of a whale. Why, he, he swallows whole ships alive. Well, and this besides, is it's dangerous. What? Varian should have actually Jimmy. been in the, in the movie. Goodbye. He was a really good character, and Lance. I oh, may be lying they were both down there, great. I'd love to see I'm him in the movie. Ah. They were both great characters. I think Sandra, too. She was a great character, too. Let's just say that show is just awesome. All right. Um, yeah, so I was telling the story. So the plot of the episode is that some characters go back in time. And when they go back in time, sometimes the characters are seen and are seen and heard differently than what they actually are. So I wouldn't say it's not the same. It's addressed at the very beginning of the episode and it doesn't spoil any major plot points. So Rapunzel and why are there weird guys in the world? So Rapunzel and Pascal get sent back to the past through like a special magic thing. And everyone sees and hears them as the Stammington brothers, as teenagers. So that's who I played. So half the episode, you see Rapunzel doing her thing and Pascal with her. And you see and hear them as Rapunzel and Pascal. But then anytime you look through the eyes of the everyone everyone around her, it's the Stabbington brothers, the teenagers. And so that's what I did in any of those things, which means I'm technically playing Rapunzel, but with the voice of the Stabbington brothers. So how they did that was they actually had Mandy Moore record all of her voice lines, uh, all of the all of my lines as her. And then when I went in, oh, should I do a drop? I think we'll do a drop me on it. Um, I think it's in here. Uh, where are they? 
How do you do a drop me knife? Did I actually meet Mandy Moore? No, I did not. But she did record her audio. She recorded all of my lines. And then while we were in the booth, they played me her audio. And I had to match her audio as the Stabbington brothers, but as teenagers. So I had to say the line like Mandy Moore in a different voice that wasn't mine. <laughs> uh, items. That's where I was, and I can't find it. Unless it's one of these. Uh, no, it's not one of those. I know I've gotten a lot of drop me knots, but oh, are they here? No commands. Oh, it's a command. Wait, how do I use it? Oh, am I just at the list? Okay. But I need to, like, switch out one of these, I guess. Let's get rid of coll Collision Magnet, I guess. That's kind of dumb. Okay. But we'll do it. Ah. Ah. There we go. Have a little bit more time now. Um, so, yeah, that's what I had to do, and it was a lot of fun. What did I think of Queen Ari's sister, even though you weren't in the episode? Oh! I think she was... That was the hippie girl, right? <laughs> she brought that little thing with her. Um, I guess, did you guys see? I thought she was kind of forgettable. <laughs> Not bad, but kind of forgettable. Wait, what am I supposed to do? I didn't look. Dang it! Oh, Sailor Info, thank you. After we do this battle, I'll go do that. Oh, I did it, whatever it was. Was it this? Yeah, it was that. Cool. There we go. A challenge complete. I don't even didn't even truly know what it was, but we did it. Yay. Where is it? There it is. Okay, there we go. Uh, would I rather be forced to watch Shark Tale or Despicable Me 3? Despicable Me 3. Despicable Me 3 is just what I consider to be like the definition of mediocre. Nothing surprised me. The story was just good enough. It's like the lowest notch you can go before you start getting into bad territory, in my opinion. What did I think of Boss Baby? I didn't hate it. I definitely don't hate it as much as everybody else seems to hate it, but I definitely didn't really love it either. I'm just like, I guess it's fine. It's cute enough. But I don't really want to watch it again. I will say this, I was surprised at the Boss Baby 2. I liked that better than the first one. Was it dramatically better? No, but I thought it was definitely better. What are these, like, seahorses? Oh, they're seahorses! I'd say that. I think just I think it was the fact that Jeff Goldblum was in it. <gasps> there he is. There he is. <laughs> oh, yep. Yep, you're on ribbity bibbit. Come on, come on. Ribbity bibbit. Come on! Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay. Oh, no. Hey, 
No, cut back! Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. through with you, frog. All right, we're getting this frog down. I'm surprised he hasn't run off yet. Not that I want him to, just kind of surprised more than anything else. Ah, oh, there he goes. There we go. Man. Whew. We got him down, y'all. Look at that. We got him really far down. That keyblade. Oh, is it the keyblade? The keyblade is what I get if I beat the frog prince thing, right? Yeah. Cool. Who is the best Disney mom or dad in your opinion? It certainly is not Buck Cluck. Um, best Disney mom or dad? Hey, yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Uh, for dad, I'd probably say Mufasa. Uh, best Disney mom? It might be a predictable answer, but I think Andy's mom from Toy Story. I think she's just, she seems just like a good down-to-earth mom. We'll say, yeah, I'll say Mufasa and Andy's mom. I think they're the best mom and dad. Alright, so we're gonna face Monstro now. Oh, we're at the <laughs> We're at the bottom of the sea! How are we breathing right now? And how is Jimmy breathing? Your your trunk is not up at the surface, sir. <laughs> we're really in Pinocchio now, just when we like tied the rock to our leg. How do you see Monstro? Oh. oh, that explains why we had seahorses fighting us earlier. It's the frogs again! The frogs again! Okay, I thought there was a link thing over here. What's the link thing for? Uh, take no more than two damage, okay? Oh, I think we can do that. You think Mirabelle's dad is the best dad? He's a good dad. Oh, we already lost the challenge. Joy. Because we got hit more than twice. Okay, yeah, we got hit a lot more than twice. Can we redo the challenge? Let's exit it. And we'll try again. Okay, try it again. Okay. Back off. Okay. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Take this. Ah, no. There it goes. I actually was doing pretty good that time. It's these guys in the back that were killing. Let's try it again. I ended it, didn't I? Yeah, I ended it. Oh, you're here for some reason. A little penguin yeah, running around. Yeah. And another frog. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just coming up from yeah, the abyss, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Let's try this one more time. We almost had it, you guys. We almost had it. Okay, here we go. So let's get... Take yeah. 
yeah, here we go. Yeah! We did it, you guys. <laughs> we didn't get one hit on that one. <laughs> yeah, Mirabel, Mirabelle's dad is a great dad. I was also thinking about... Um, uh, May's dad from Turning Red. He was awesome, too. Um, but I still like Mufasa better. Um, we're gonna go... Yeah, somebody reminded me that I need to still do high jump. It's weird I have to equip that, because who would want regular jump when you get high jump? Yeah. Oh, that's helpful. Oh. Wait, no, that's where I came from, so I'm gonna go this way. Nani would be one of the pe best figure parent figures ever. I thought about doing her, but yeah, she's technically yeah, not yeah. a mom. But she's yeah, kind. Yeah. She like takes over the role of mom, but she's not yeah, a mom. Yeah, yeah. She's a she's a sister. goodness no Jimmy you knocked me off no oh that was cool I want to ride this skate was it a skate or a guitar fish or I don't know but that was cool all right come on let's go again I wanted to get that chest and then now why don't you take me in that door up there Now, no, sorry, Jimmy. It's just me. Just me this time. Yeah! Oh, no, 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 I pressed the wrong button. Okay, we got it, though. Thank you, Mr. Skate or Mr. Guitarfish. I don't really know exactly what specific species you are, but you're cool. I guess we need to go up. Well, I guess we can ride on these things. I guess that would make us go up. I guess that's what it's telling us to do. Ah. Hey, ha, ha. Get your penguin. Yeah, 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 it looks like yeah, a stingray. Well, I mean, what type of stingray is he? Because he's not like a traditional stingray. Uh, like, he doesn't look like a manta ray or just like a freshwater stingray or even an uh, oceanic uh, eagle ray or anything like that. He looks like there's a mem there's a type of fish called a skate, and a skate looks similar to a ray. They're like in like a similar f familial group, but they're actually completely different animals, and that's what it looks like to me. So I think that that's what it is, but I'm not positive. Because the guitar fish is one of those animals, so that's why I went to that first. Zero graver, gravitia, gravia, gravitas, whatever y'all know what it is. Whee! This is really nice. Here's a cartoon, right? No, y'all, look up like a skate or a uh, or guitar fish and tell me that does not look like a guitar fish. I'm sorry. 
Sailor M. Foe, you gave enough to add a character to the wheel, and I did not do that. I am so sorry. I just... Bloop. Just went out my brain. Uh, you want Batman plus Jack Sparrow. You got it. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Ms. Yvette. What hat would you like? I'm just laughing. It's all right. It happens to everybody. Okay. Just wanted to let you know that was not, I was not trying to uh, do that. Uh, what's that symbol, Miss Yvette? What, what does that symbol mean? I know you normally go for the crown. Thank you for the posture check. You're just really focused. I know. Oh, I think that's a crown. Okay, cool. I figured that's what you wanted. Before, oh, I have it backwards. Before. Ba, 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 ba. I should get a big elephant plush and name it Jimmy. I had a big elephant plush when I was a kid, and my parents still have it, actually. It was this giant elephant, about like probably this big. And, uh, well, actually, you guys can't see my other hand. It was about like this big. Okay, about that big. My parents still have it. It's falling apart and everything, and it's in Texas. But I want them to hold on to that because eventually, whenever I have kids, I want to be able to take that elephant, get it repaired, and like refluffed and everything. And I want my kids to have it because that was my favorite toy growing up. But his name was Babar because I was so creative naming things when I was a kid. I totally didn't just take whatever animal or something was in a movie that I liked or a TV show or a book series and just gave it that name. No, I would never do that as a child. Never. Drop down the hole? Couldn't drop down that one. I guess I dropped down that one. Whoa! Oh, I got through the hole, dude. That was the most beautiful answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Sandy has left okay. the couch. What are you doing, girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ma! No! Oh, okay. I'm not gonna like die about that. Yeah, yeah. Ha. Wow. Yeah, yeah, the frogs, yeah. you guys. Yeah. The frogs, you guys. Yeah. 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 Back off. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Did I like the Babar series growing up? Um, yeah, I did. We had a couple of the books. That was partially how I learned cursive, because all of those books were written in cursive. At least the ones we had were. And so, uh... I wanted to learn because I loved the... the elephant so much. I wasn't around for the TV show, though. That was past my time. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Should have a Jimmy plushie to your merch. I'd like to. That would be fun. Yeah. Thought about doing that, like when, like you know how you can go buy like a plush toy of like a emoji or something. I'd do that, but it's Jimmy. Asher plays wants to know if the micro streams are coming back or not. I have not fully decided. Um, I know that live stream is going to be coming to YouTube. Yeah. I just haven't yeah. fully yeah. nailed yeah. down how I want that to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So to answer your question, I don't know yet specifically about my uh, about micro streams. However, if you are looking for live streaming being a thing on YouTube, yes, that's going to happen. I have just yet to figure out what capacity I want it in. Together. I can sew it together to your elephant plushie. Oh, thank you. But right now it's in Texas, and I have no plans on having children anytime soon, especially because, you know, I am not married nor have a girlfriend and haven't had one in three years. <laughs> um... So it's probably a little premature to get the ball rolling now. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. 
Sadly, you can't do a whole lot of bits or subs today. Your work kind of really Oh, no worries, dude. No, never feel like you have to do any of this stuff on these streams. No one has to. It's always appreciated, but no one ever has to. Oh, that's not my... That's, those are my temporary ones. I'm like, why can't I hit this dang penguin? Oh, that's why. Um, it's the guitar fish again. Or the skate, or whatever type of fish this is. I know everyone's just gonna call it a stingray, but I know it's more. I'm an animal nerd. I spend way too much time looking this stuff up. So I want it to be useful somewhere. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. It might live streaming might return as the as that. I wasn't sure how everyone was really feeding off it. I feel like most people. My assumption was most people didn't like them. But that could have just been me misunderstanding what everyone was saying. Ah, Jimmy! Quit taking me off the guitar fish! I guess I didn't really need it this time, but it was cool. You deserve to be with somebody too, Brian, because you make millions of people happy. You deserve to have someone that will make you happy as well. Other than Sam, of course. I mean, I'm not... Like, I'm totally okay without a relationship right now. Like, I'm not... I'm not actively seeking one. I'm not mad or upset that I don't have one. In fact, right now, I'm thoroughly enjoying the single life. And I have people in my life who love me tremendously. Just not in a romantic way. And that's totally fine with me right now. Like, I don't necessarily need or want romance at the moment. I'm just happy that I have... Like, I've got my roommates here that... They love me so much. I've got my best friends out here. I've got just so many people that love and care about me for me. And right now, that's all I really need. I don't really feel like anything else. Now, of course, if... Uh, if if <laughs> if the future Mrs. Hall were to show up into my life, I'd be like, oh, hello, let's talk. How are you? <laughs> but as of right now, I'm not expecting that, uh, nor am I really looking for it. How do we make yeah, a cactus yeah. seed, whatever that is? Yeah. You want any fish? Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. right now, I'm not upset or sad or depressed or anything that I'm not in a relationship. I haven't actually been trying because right now I'm just content with where I am. Oh, thank you for the stretch of the posture. Check. Well, that's understandable, Brian. I'm glad you have a big family that loves you and cares about you. That's amazing. Yes, I'm very grateful and I feel very honored to have that. And yeah, for right now, I'm just soaking that up and enjoying that and just living life. use flow motion to join jump lunges. I keep forgetting that. Huh? <laughs> Enjoy your single life, Brian. You shouldn't feel pressured to have a wife or kids. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, dang. Monstro's big. Well, act like I've never seen the, the movie before. Or go into Monstro in the first game. Here we go, Brian likes being single. Well, I mean, for right now, but that could easily change. But no, it's just, uh, I feel the need to say that because every time I mention that I haven't had a date in three years, people are like, I'm so sorry, you should totally have someone who loves you. It's like, oh, I didn't say that because I was depressed. I was just stating it as a fact. I'm thoroughly content right now. I haven't been trying. Whoa. Yeah, how are we breathing underwater? I still haven't quite put that together. Credit, I'm glad we don't have to swim, but it does not make a lot of sense. Same here, I've been single for almost 15 years now, though you wouldn't mind having a relationship if you're not looking for one. Yeah, I'm right there with you tonight, Tommy. Oh, no. Right there with you. I'm not anti-relationships, but I'm also not looking for one. Whoa, did it like freeze the whale, dude? 
I'll have to claw my way past, then rescue my friends. Why does you roar like a camel? <laughs> Why can't I hit you? Take this. Yeah. 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 Here, we do a link. Let's go. Yeah. Oh well, that's not really what I meant to do. Oh well, I can still do a link with Jimmy. Together. That's a work. Hitting in a little bit. It's such a small target. <laughs> that dream eater looks crabby. <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> As he's still yelling like a like a camel. Ow! Oh, that hurt. I feel like the only way I can hit this thing is with Paluma. So I'm really glad I have Balloon right now. I feel like it's the only thing that's hitting this thing. Ice holding monster, okay? It's over here, right? Ah! Okay, okay, I'm a going. I'm a going. Hey, yeah, yeah. Come on, monstro. Help me out here, buddy. And now the whale is flying in a giant bubble. What is this game? <laughs> this game, y'all. This game. Oh, good golly molly. And now I'm riding the giant... a dream that I would tell to a therapist and then they would tell me to take a whole lot of meds. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this game? I feel like every stream with this game, something so ridiculous happens. Oh, hang on. Have I seen the green planet on PBS? Nope, never heard of it. Uh, this game has officially broken Brian. Yes, it has. It has. Hello, Brian. Hello. You will understand the title of this game and the game at the very end. Okay. It's what I figured. Y'all keep telling me that's the case. I'm just enjoying it because random insane things happen and it keeps making me laugh and it keeps making me happy so I ain't mad. It's more like, I have no idea what's going on and I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just gonna laugh at the absurdity as we go. Yeah. All right, will you let Dad play some more? Or are you just like, no, I need to stare at my Dad's face and slowly try to lick at it as you pull it back because you don't want you to lick, don't want you to lick your face. Avoid it, monstro. We don't want to pop your bubble. No. Oh, oh no. We got hit. Did we pop the bubble? Ah! Kid! Okay, we got it. We got it. And Sandy came to the rescue. Yes, she did. She came to the rescue. What are you trying to do, girl? She's like sneaking around me. Are you trying to get up on my shoulders again? <gasps> oh my god, Monstro ate it! That's awesome. Uh, but I'd rather uh, be forced to watch the emoji uh, movie or Pinocchio. Uh, oh, emoji movie, please. Uh, emoji movie was bad, but from like a big studio bad. Pinocchio was bad from a why on earth was this made bad? Emoji movie is just hollow and shallow and a corporate shell. The Pinocchio just makes me hurt. Are you trying to get up on my shoulders? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? You can get up there. I know, you like it up there. <laughs> I Go get ahead. it now. After this, I felt like she was trying to climb Pinocchio up here, but didn't and know Jiminy's how. world gets dragged into darkness. And they end up cast into the sea between worlds. Along with Monstro. Oh, so and that's then, how Monstro got there in the end first up in game. Traverse Town, so is this like a prequel? That's when we meet for real. It's like Master Yen Sid said. I'm in the dream. Pinocchio's world is dreaming. And that world will never be right again until it wakes from sleep. Uh -huh. Sandy is the cutest dachshund. Yes, she is. Are you my sweet dachshund? All right, Ferris gear. A keyblade that triggers fewer reality shifts, but compensates with an extra boost of strength and magic. Oh. Well, all right. Do I want that? I don't know yet. All right, so we finished these three. What's my next world? Unlocked Flick Rush Rainbow Cup. All right. So we've done... Uh, yeah, so we've done Hunchback of Notre Dame, Pinocchio, and Tron. And then that was Traverse Town. So what's next? Yeah, we completed all of these except for Riku. That... So can I not see what the next world is until I complete Riku's part? Which is fine. Like, we drop right now and we'll go get Riku because it's going to do that anyway before we go to the next place. But I was a little shocked. Oh, all right. Like play Payback Blast. Press X. Uh, oh. oh, Riku only. All right. Um, let's do... She's my neck pillow. She kind of is. She kind of is. Um, let's do an attack gain. For 80. Uh, I dropped accelerator of 40. To an affinity gain of 100. Do a defense gain. Yeah, that would be it. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so now we go with Riku. Hope Sandy doesn't fall off. No, she doesn't. She doesn't look very secure, but she's actually very secure. I need 700 points, yeah. okay. Ah! Oh. Oh, I have to go through that little hole.
Wrong one. Did I get a little bit of health or no? I don't think I do. Oh, there we go. Health. I was just asking for it. But I keep running into things which doesn't help as much. Yeah, this is not going to be a good guy. I picked all the ones. The, the, all of them had except that one. Of course I picked that one. Uh, almost there. Oh, I didn't. We got all the points. Oh, we're doing it again right now. Oh, that's, I'm not doing good at this, you guys. Can I redo it? Yeah, restart. Alright, let's do that. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Look at me now. Look at me now. Look at me now. Aha, I know what I'm doing now. Oh, oh like that was totally righteous, dude. Oh, the random bowling pin. Well, at least I went through this thing. Okay. Get it. A bit riskier, but I want to go through this way. Okay, almost got them all. Oh, I'm actually doing really good on them. So, yeah, I'm not as bad as I thought. And especially because now I've gotten all the points I need. Let's go. Let's get a whole bunch of extra. Let's go find these and please. What I get? I want at least a beat. Oh, I got A. I got W. Yeah. Yep, back at Pranksters Paradise. Oh, it is? Oh, it's the music from the first game. Are we starting inside Monstro? Yep. It looks just like the first game. Pinocchio! Oh, Geppetto! Son! Where have you run off to? Isn't that Geppetto? Then this must be... Yep. Riku is entirely inside Monstro. Yep, it's just like the first game all over again. Alright, sure. We'll borrow these spirits. I don't like them as much as Jimmy or Big Bertha, but you know. Wait, I have high jump now, don't I? Damn. Wait, what? Why can't... Where's my menu? Where's my menu with all my stuff? What? I'm trying to put it on there. Where is it? Can I only do it when I'm like over here or something? What? Oh, I'm using a link portal. I can't get it when I have a link portal. Okay. Okay. Well, once the link portal goes away, I can do it. Who's my least favorite Despicable Me character? Drew. Just because he's literally just Drew, but more annoying. I'm just like, who thought that was a really cool character idea? It just feels lazy. We don't want to pay for another actor, so let's have Steve Carell do the same voice, but slightly higher pitched. Okay, I can change things. And I'm like, I'm all up for like using one actor to do multiple roles. I'm okay with that. But it's when it's, it barely sounds different. And it's easy to get them confused just by their voice alone. I'm like, no, if you're going to do it, go different with it. Go all the way. Don't make it a shock that people are like, oh my gosh, you're the voice of both of that. And it's, 
Well, duh, you're this voice of that because it's fairly different. That's where I am with it. I don't like it. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this. We'll have another balloon run. Because you guys are right, balloon run's awesome. Now I have high jump. Now! It's gonna bring me back to memories I had in the first game where I couldn't get to any of this stuff. Okay. Oh, can I reach it? Ah, uh, no, I didn't make it. That's okay. I think there's a better way over here. Come on. <laughs> and hippity hop. Yeah. You thought the villain of the boring of the movie was boring more boring than El Macho? Yeah. Oh, I could see that. Benjamin Bratt. Ha. Yeah, not really a... Oh, Balthazar Brat. Balthazar Brat. Yeah, I know. He wasn't really... Yeah. He wasn't really a great villain either. I could have... Basically... Basically, everybody knew in the third movie was... Kind of annoying. Either annoying or just boring. Hey. I would say that. A check on the spirit? Sure, we should totally do that. Um, yeah, let's look at the ability links. Yeah. Uh, oh, Jimmy's got a lot. So we could unlock this. Causes a reaction on the ability board. Oh, I guess it means we get more. Oh, I have to unlock this. Hopefully this unlocks new stuff, right? Collision magnet has been upgraded to magnet spiral. Okay. See that shown? Okay, well it's just ten. Sure, I'll get it. Don't really think I'm gonna have a need for it. Ah, I should have saved it and done second chance. Oh well. Uh, I can do an HP boost. Oh well, shoulda, woulda, coulda on that one. All right. Um. Oh, but we can do this with Big Bertha now. Before I do that, because I totally could have gotten second chance. Before. What's that? Wizard, uh, I don't really care about that. Cure, oh, cure boost. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do a cure boost. I think that sounds good. What's that? HP boost? Okay. I'm gonna do cure boost. And we'll do that. And then, I could get, like, the really great blizzard move, but I don't really care. I'm not going to use it. Which was this one? Oh, magic boost. Oh, sure, you can have a magic boost. How's this? Water screen? Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Okay, so you're good there. Uh, hi, my name is Joseph, and I'm your biggest fan. Oh, thank you. You make me laugh all the time. Thank you for making my day. Oh, happy to do it. Happy to make your day. Alright, Martin still gives me a few things. What's this? Cure. <gasps> oh! But you give me cure gun. I'm gonna hold off on him because I want cure gun. Yeah, so. You're still getting a lot of. Yeah, I'm gonna. Let, let's hang out with Martin for a little bit. I wanna see if I can't get you raised the. Well. That's a level. I gotta get you to level 25, which I don't think I can do that. Oh, gosh! Hi, Martin! <laughs> Just came up right at the top of the screen there, huh? Come here, Jimmy. Jimmy, come back! Jimmy, come back! You can blame it all on me. Let me something. 
Oh my, his disposition has changed. Oh, his eyes look weirder now. He's now nuzzle, nozzle nose. Mine is so cute. I know, right? If you use water barrel a few times, you can give Martin XP. Water barrel? Is that is that like one of these, like a training toy or something? is the treat, okay? Um, is this a water girl? Uh. Oh, gosh. That is a very long song. Oh, you want Donald to sing this? Holy crud. I uh, got my rubber duck in my pickup truck. Got my pickup truck with my rubber duck. Got my rubber duck with my pickup truck. Got my pickup truck with my rubber duck. Do you want a duck? Now we got two ducks. And we got, and you got a duck and I got a duck. Now you got a duck and I got a duck in my pickup truck in my pickup. What? Where do you find these songs? Do you just like go on YouTube and just say like, what's the weirdest songs you got? I'm not doing the whole song. You're getting like a little bit and that's it. Because I cannot do the whole song. Okay. I'll do about as much as I heard, which is... That's all I'm doing. That's all you got. That's all I'm doing. Nowhere near me to hear me sing about a pickup truck anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, uh, Cameron Blythe. Have I seen the movie Coraline? Yes, what I think about it. I, I really liked Coraline. I really liked it a lot. Um, what's this water barrel thing? Is it this one? I don't think that's a water barrel, but... Take it, Martin. Take it. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Oh, you did level up. Wait, did you level up enough, though? Did you level up enough, though? Okay, hear that now. Oh, oh, oh. So we have more now. No. What's your... What's your level? Yeah, what's my Let's look at the change to the party. I'm not going to. I just want to see what level he's at. So he's got to get to level 25. Alright, I'm sorry, Martin. I'm sorry, uh, Johan. Just for a little bit, we're going to put Martin back in the party. Just because I want him to get to level 25 faster. Because I want Kyrga. That sounds amazing. pickup truck no I've never owned a pickup truck um I've had a lot of family members with pickup trucks but I've never owned one remember when I was talking about the seven oh oh cool I can't really get to the link right now because I don't want to disturb Sandy um water barrel is in the toy section okay um training toys um is this, oh, this is water barrel. Oh. Oh yeah, this is a thing I never understood what was going on. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. 
that thing. I remember this. Okay, there we go. Way to go, Martin. Yeah, let's do that again. Want to see if I can at least keep him in here for a little bit longer? No! No, Martin! Martin! He went right down the middle. I probably could have saved him by doing the, the barrel thing barrels off to the side, but I did not think of that until after it happened, so. No! when Jimmy's the one who gets left behind because he's got the biggest bubble so it's easier to pop everything. Alright, so let's see. Oh, he's still only level 20. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be easier just to play the game for a while and get him up to 25. Yeah, alright, we're going to save that though. Let's go talk to him. Geppetto! What's the matter? Huh? Goodness! Oh, who are you? Riku. Oh, Riku. You poor lad. Seems you were swallowed up by Monstro just like the rest of us. My name is Geppetto, and I'm looking for my son, Pinocchio. Pinocchio's gone missing? I'm afraid so. After all my searching, I found him here in the whale. But then he ran off again to who knows where. Ah, uh, that's Jeff that Bennett. Kind of I know that voice anywhere. <laughs> Mr. Geppetto, let me go look for your son. You would do that? Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. Leave it to me. Oh, wait. I'm sorry, Didi. I thought you just really wanted me to, to help us find watch the thing. You wanted me to actually do a voice from it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I misunderstood that. So you want me to try the the pig voice? If you've got any questions, just ask. I think that's what it was. I have no idea. Because they're yummy. You're done already, but you gotta have more questions than that. I'm sorry, DD Voices. I apologize. I misunderstood that. I misunderstood what you wanted from that. I'm sorry. Huh? Jiminy? Huh? That's right. Name's Jiminy. Jiminy Cricket. But, shucks, have we met? No. You know, never mind. Hmm, you say so. Anyway, Pinocchio comes first. Right. 
Any idea where he went? Well, I'm almost certain he wandered off with a stranger. Can Inside you describe the him? whale? Hmm. Oh, well, does he someone from the organization? Huh? I'm about to say who else was in a the whale? Head. I don't remember this part of the movie. He's back again. Thanks. Well, I'm going with you. Pinocchio's gonna need his conscience, and that's where I come in. Okay. Come on, Jimmy. Do your thing. Actually, no. Martin, come in and do some stuff. I want you to gain levels. I want Kirka. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's one thing you never understood. Figaro was his cat for a while now, but Minnie has him. Um, and it's you. And you never know how many got him. I don't know either. That's always something I've never understood either. But yeah, I know. Like, for some reason, Figaro is Minnie's dog now. Don't really make a whole lot of sense, but yep, that's, that's what it is now. Temporarily have other ones. Just so I can get the link for the Oh, and of course it's a fake. Why is it always a fake? Now we gotta get rid of the Mr. Mime. The Mr. Mime Lickitungs. Oh, Riku leveled up. So that's good. If only we could get Martin too. Once Pinocchio, once production of Pinocchio finished, Walt made him Minnie's pet, replacing Fifi, so it, so it's caused Walt to suffer. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely see that, cause yeah, she used to have Fifi, which I guess makes a little more sense. But I thought that Fifi still showed up even after Pinocchio. Like she still came back a few times, and even Fifi's been in some of the new episodes of. Uh, they've been in the new Mickey Mouse stuff, so Fifi's not totally gone, but yeah, Minnie either has Figaro or Fifi. There's that's basically. It. Hey, Jimmy made it to level 25. See you there, Martin. Oh, I said Figaro was a dog. No, Figaro's a cat. I just missed him. I do that all the time. My brain's plugged in, but it's not hooked up to the internet. Oh, good golly molly. The dad gun bats. Ah, oh, there we go. Martin's at level 21. Yeah, 
Wait, are you telling me I'm... Are you telling me that a mouse is keeping a... A cat as a pet? Well, yeah. Dog is also keeping... Uh, a mouse is also keeping a dog for a pet. Woo! I'm confused why Max Goof hasn't appeared in any Disney shorts in recent years. Is he even canon anymore? I'm sure he is. Because they put him in a lot. That's not something you can just write him out of. Man, I should be able to like run over here with this, right? Yeah. There's no way he's not, not canon anymore. There's no way. I don't know why they haven't really been putting Max in a lot of stuff. But like, he still shows up at Disneyland a lot. He was just there a couple weeks ago, I thought. I mean, not a lot, a lot, but he definitely shows up. It is a good one. I'm doing it all day today. I keep seeing one thing and then my brain replaces that word for another word. It's happening more and more lately. What's happening to my brain, you guys? What's happening to my brain? My brain is being taken over as if Mort was destroying my brain with his Morty type powers. Mort, what have you done to my brain? My beautiful kingly brain. <laughs> you wouldn't you like to know King Julian? What have you done, you hard little monkey? The Lion Guard got scars scar wrong. I go by the old books if you read them. Uh, well, the old books are not canon. And they never were. I know what you're talking about. There were like these six stories. Like the author of the books have come out and said, yeah, no, that's not canon. Disney said, yeah, it's not canon. The one where he got a scar from a water buffalo. Yeah. So I get it. You like the books. That's more awesome. And if you want to make that your own head canon, go for it. But if we're going by like what Disney said is canon, that's not it. But hey, if you like that story better, go for it. Uh, yeah, that's something a lot of people need to do more often. Is like you're allowed to use your own head cannon if if it's a big deal. Who cares? Keep your head cannon. If that's what you like, keep your head cannon. Pinocchio. This is weirdly similar to the first Jimmy. game for this scene. And I'm sitting there going like, Let "Yep, go I feel like he's gonna get put into that weird heartless that has like the cage in his stomach, and we gotta fight that again." Oh. Thank goodness. Are you all right? Riku and I looked for you everywhere. Uh-huh. I'm just fine. Sorry, Jiminy. I messed up real bad. You and Father must have been so worried about me. Why, yes, we were. Listen to your daddy. You might be finally starting to learn. Who are you? Of me? course. Let's just make you weirder. Riku just stole Pinocchio from Riku. That makes all the yeah, sense in the world. That was my... my Hundred voice. points for continuity. I gave in to the darkness <laughs> once. And this is God. This is, this, there's no way. There's something's going to like retcon all this. I'm having fun it's seeing the absurdity though. Stole my body. A puppet replica of the shadows in my heart. And now... I'm facing me. Your dark side? Gee, Riku, don't you have a Jiminy like I do? 
He's my conscience. He's taught me all kinds of important stuff. Maybe you just need somebody to show you what's right and wrong. Sure. You can't shoulder all your problems alone, you know. You, you can't shoulder all your problems alone. That's right. You a can't friend, do it. You can talk. You to do it. You're gonna drive yourself nuts. That's yeah. what you're gonna do. Actually, I do. That stupid grin he's always wearing. <laughs> he's the best teacher I could ever have. Gee whiz! I wish I had lots of good friends. You will, Pinocchio. More than you can count. <sighs> what now? Is something in there? Pinocchio, Jiminy, you should head back. I'll see what's shaking things up. I'll okay. shake things up. Uh, Chronicle? Yeah, no, we're not skip. We're skipping that. Especially Chain of Memories. We don't need to relive that again. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Tink. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> I missed. What's this? It's like a lava fet. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, we're like on the ceiling now, dude. <laughs> Would I rather punch Drew in the Drew or Mike from Sing in the Face? Oh, Mike! Goodness, I'd love to punch Mike in the face. I actively dislike Mike. Drew is just derivative and like just really uninspired. Mike's just a horrible human being, or a mouse in this case. He's just terrible. He deserves to get punched. Oh, I'm gonna get so lost in here, you guys. I thought Tron was bad. Oh, this stuff hurts. We gotta get out. Oh no, there's a grandfather clock. Vecna! <laughs> Oh my goodness, I know we talked about Stranger Things a little bit on this channel. Yeah. It's Vecna! <laughs> oh, Kikokis. Alright, where's. Oh, this is the thing to turn everything right now. Okay. Be running up that hill! <laughs> if I only could, I'd make a deal with God! <laughs> Oh, entertainment fan, come on. Oh, that's harsh. Oh, my heart. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to say much. Because, you know, spoilers. But, ah, that hurts, that hurts. Oh. Okay. I pick you back from the pizza to the I'm glad I'm enjoying these games a lot. Like you good. Yeah, no, I'm thoroughly enjoying my Kingdom Hearts marathoning and learning all this game. This game. <laughs> this game is totally messing with my mind right now, and I kind of love it for that. Is it, this is one of the most crazy random games I've ever played, and I'm all about it. Obtained yeah. collision magnets. Don't I already have one of those? Would I rather be forced to watch the Cats movie or Pinocchio? The Cats movie. The Cats movie is bad. Don't get me wrong. I've watched it. It's bad. But Pinocchio hurts. Hurts my eyes. 
Alright. Oh, I can link with, with, uh, both of them. Man, we have our march on the penguins. You get it? Cause March of the Penguins. Y'all remember that movie? I've actually never seen it, but I remember it was like a huge deal. Which is weird. It was a documentary, and I'm like, I love animal documentaries. It was a documentary about penguins, and that's like the one thing I didn't see. Is Pinocchio so bad it's good? I'm sure some people would say that. And I think there's parts that are so bad that it's good, but there's other parts that are so bad it just hurts. Because, like, at one point they sing, and. Oh. You are not prepared for how bad that singing is. You think you know what bad singing is, but then you watch the movie. And you're just like, who created this? Who did it? Really, cats didn't hurt my eyes, Brian? Those abominations were stuff of nightmares. I mean, it was bad. It was definitely stuff of nightmares, y'all. Like, I, I'll say that. But really, its biggest crime was it was boring and it didn't make any sense. That was its biggest crime to me. Like, yeah, the visuals were weird. But you at least get, like, I can at least say, like, you know, you at least get at least interesting performances from most of these actors. And a lot of these actors are incredible actor so you're still getting good performances it's just wrapped up in a very strange uncanny valley cover am i gonna watch Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio probably I'm interested in So many Pinocchio movies this year, you guys. Or I guess the crazy one was, I guess that was in the last year, was it? Yeah. But I'd rather be forced to watch the Cats movie, the Emoji movie, Emoji movie. Emoji movie's bad, but it's just corporate pandering level bad. Not horrendous and crazy. <laughs> Try to get over there, or do we hit this thing again? I don't know why we yeah. want to hit this thing again. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Oh, maybe I did want to do that. Yeah, because now I get all this that I didn't have before. Yeah. Yeah. Ha! Out of curiosity, yeah. you and your adult at least those I, I don't mind Simpsons I've watched that a little bit I'm I just don't like Seth MacFarlane so any of his shows I have I have no interest in watching I tried to get into him and just, I just can't I just do not like Seth MacFarlane at all if you like him more power to you I just can't stand him He just got a sense of humor that I just find not funny and just very mean-spirited. But there's been a few adult shows that I'm like, oh, that's not so bad. I think I've seen a couple episodes of, like, uh, Bob's Burgers that I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. I'd probably watch some more of that. Or, like, uh... Like... I'm cool with it having adult stuff in it, but I feel like uh, some of the adult cartoons, or at least when they started, it was all just like, hey, it's all about the wow factor. The fact we put this in a cartoon, we can get away with it. It's like that, that shock humor only works for so long and never really worked on me. But if you can give me like a genuine story with genuine characters, I don't care if they're If 
Futurama. I've only seen a little bit of Futurama. What I've seen hasn't been bad. It reminds me a lot of Simpsons, which I'm like, on a good day, I don't mind Simpsons. I started kind of going through it on Disney Plus just every so often just because I'm curious. Because I'm like, yeah, most of it's not bad. Like, most of it's actually got, like, good heart and stuff. I'm like, okay, I like that. But yeah, no, Family Guy, I... Nothing, no. I... No, can't get into that one. I do want to get, like, Bojack Horseman a try. Everyone keeps telling me that that one's actually one of the really good ones, too. So I kind of want to give that a shot, and then, like, a... Uh... Yeah, the one the Simpsons guy made on... Netflix, I think it was like Disenchantment. Might want to look that up at some point. Everyone said it's not as good as Simpsons and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, that was I like sometimes. <laughs> and I tried watching some Central Park on Apple TV. I like that one too. I haven't seen a lot of it, but I saw a couple episodes, and I'm like, eh, I can see the appeal here. Have I seen Invincible or The Boys? No. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Do you need to readjust? Hang on. Hang on. She's trying to readjust. Hang on. All right. Come here, girl. There you go. Do you want to come down here for a second or you want to go back up on my shoulders? Just hang out here for a second. No, I haven't seen either Invincible or The Boys. Um, did you watch The Greatest Showman and if so, did I enjoy it at all? I did! Oh, thank you for the stretch. Ugh. And have I heard of fairy pods located in Scotland, more specifically the Isle of Skye? Very beautiful area. Oh, I've never heard of those. Uh, if only you can ride with James right now, Brian. I don't know, right? <laughs> yeah. You good now, Sandy? Are you happy down here? Or you want to get back up on my shoulders? You can do it. I don't care. Or you want to go back to the couch? All right, Jimmy almost knocked me off the edge, so, and he went and ran off the edge. Sounds about right. She was still readjusting. Uh-oh, we have reached a fork in the road. A fork in the whale road. This one looks like it just leads to a chest. Yeah. All right, so let's get the chest and then we'll move on. Yeah, she's decided she needs to go back to the couch. Oh, well, we got another water barrel. Nice. <laughs> Oh, way to go, Jimmy and Martin. Y'all totally took out the last one. Ooh, we have a nice save point. I think that will be important. Does Sandy like being held or is she more of a lap dog? It depends. She likes being held and she likes being in laps and stuff. It just kind of depends on her mood. There are some days where I can sit there and hold her forever. You grabbed the blanket and ripped it off the couch instead of just getting up there. Do you want to be on the floor, dog? <laughs> 
just pulled the blanket off the couch and she's like, this is my home now. <laughs> Here, do you want, want me to put it back up? Sure. Oh no, now she's, now she's grabbing it out of my hand like, no, no, don't put it up there. <laughs> okay, she wants to be on the floor. She can be on the floor. <laughs> you good now? Yeah, no, now you want up there. <laughs> this dog, you guys. All right, come here. You want to run up there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There she goes. All right. <sighs> All right. Ah, uh, we gotta face the crab thingy again. I don't like this thing. I do not. There's only like one place to hit it and it's very little on the bottom of its shell. Yeah. Oh, ow, ow, ow. I do not like all this. At least I can actually hit you better, so that's that's a nice plus. Okay, there we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So sounds like a camel though. Come on. Come on. Look at it. Yes. Fire one move. Quick blitz. Drink drive. Uh, drink dive. Okay. Now we need to do the balloon stuff. There we go. What do I think of Glee? I actually never watched Glee when it was going on. I never did. I had everyone and their dog tell me about Glee, but I I was in a choir at the time at school. So I was like, my life is already basically Glee. I don't want to watch a TV show about my life. I try to escape from my life when I watch TV. <laughs> I thought I was only sent into the past on the Destiny Islands. So why does it seem like time was rewound in this world too? Maybe it's like Master Yen Sid said. I guess everything helped me back The world in time, was though. freed from darkness. And that's why everybody's young, because Riku and Sora are older than this now. <laughs> oh, when I went to the premiere of Christopher Robin, did I meet Jim Cummings or Ian McGregor? No, I didn't see Ian McGregor at all. I saw Jim Cummings, but I didn't talk to him. Um, oh, a keyblade that lands fewer critical hits but compensates with a boost in magic and more frequent reality shifts. Okay, cool. I saw a few other people. I saw Brad Garrett there, and we saw, uh, Al not Alan Kim, um, Richard Sherman. He'll be just fine. I didn't get to talk to him, but with him. We saw him. Uh, huh? You don't think? No, Master Yen said. Look, it's a raven. Uh oh, that's oh. Maleficent's Raven Diablo. That raven is Maleficent's. What's the hmm. Thank you for oh, the stretch. Minis. Uh oh, did Maleficent get that mini? Huh? huh? Gorge, what's it say? It's from Maleficent. She's kidnapped Minnie. She did. She took Queen oh, Minnie. Oh. The letter says for me to return to Disney Castle. Or else. Mickey, there is no time to waste. Oh, it's gonna get Phantasmic okay. up in here, y'all. Stay here. King Mickey, we're going with you. <laughs> Gosh, uh, I guess you're right, pals. We friends need to stick together. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Master Yen said, we'll be back. Hmm. So when is Mickey gonna propose to Minnie? I don't know mm. if that ever happened. There's actually been talks about having them get married the in the past, but most of the to executives keep saying no. So I don't know if it ever happened. Sense a change in the forces of darkness. A change like Xehanort. Uh oh. We don't need a change like Xehanort. That's a bad change. Okay, so do we go back to Traverse Town? Oh, there's only like three worlds besides this? So I guess we need to go back here? I guess so. Wait. We're not doing any of this stuff yet? I guess not, because I can't go forward. Okay, we're going back to Traverse Town. Uh, should I drop here before I be... I should have dropped to Sora before we jump here. Uh, oh, time to drop. Okay. That's what I figured. All right, we'll drop here. And we'll get Sora. Uh, oh, we got some good stuff here. Um, let's do... Let's do a tat game. I guess we'll do a magic game. I don't really use that much magic. Well, I'll use the balloon rust thing now. Uh, defense game. Let's do that, that. And I could do, let's do an infinity game, cause, just because, yeah, let's do that. Cool. That works. That'll work. All right, then. All right. All right, so now we go to Traverse Town. Uh, let's dive again. Let's get a better, let's get a better score. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's not gonna get annoying here. That will turn over. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, ouch! That point. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. We got silver. Were we already at silver? I think we were. <laughs> All right, let's do it. This is this world. All right. Oh, I don't remember huh? this part of Traverse Town. I'm back in Traverse Town. Why, hello down there, Sora. Uh, I've been waiting. It's Joshua again. You do know you can wait on the ground, right? Come down so we can talk. Now? Now? What do you mean, now? You're the one who said you were waiting. You know, you're turning more into Neku every day. I guess but so. Listen, I barely I'm know Neku, you two but show okay. That you too? Does that mean Riku's here? Yes, but you and he are still a world apart. He didn't seem what, especially worried, I want to get a star though. in the Hollywood he Walk of Fame. Um, yeah. I guess Just if I did something I felt was worthy to go on there, sure, but right now, no. Oh, <laughs> they're back home safe now? Remember what I told you. Their existence is on the line. And the Reapers are dead set on erasing them for good. The Reapers? You have but not mentioned Reapers before. World, Reapers? And luckily, each other too. Reapers? Yeah, see, I'm with right. Sora there. What was that? The the You're just gonna call him a Reaper and just not discuss it? They need to win the Reaper's game. 
It's like a what is this, Grim, Advent uh, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy? We gotta ground. win the Grim Reapers game or something? Except this time, the mission is a tough one. They're pitted against a Dream Eater that can summon a hundred more like it. So, I was sort of hoping you and Riku could help us out. You have your Keyblades, and with those, we might still have a chance. Well, okay. I'm glad he's here with me. If he is. Riku's on one side of the portal, and you're on the other. He might be by your side, he might be a million miles away. Ah, he's pretty you close can't at measure all times. the distance in time or space. Even without the wall between you, it's hard to say. Don't worry. He's with me. Even when it might seem like he's not. Well, you're not totally wrong. Then you two are lucky. You and your friend Josh are lucky is a typical too, teen Josh on what? MySpace or Facebook. <laughs> Wanted to be mysterious or cryptic, I appreciate but just annoying. Conviction, <laughs> even though you have no idea it's what you're true, talking It's true, though. Hey. <laughs> anyway, Neku and his partner are pinned down in the Fountain Plaza. I can count on you, right? Always. Cool. All right. We will go to the plaza. It's over. <laughs> So help me out here. I know that a lot of these characters are from that game, The World Ends With You, that I never heard of before these streams. Is that uh, Dream Eaters come from there too? Or is this like a creation just for Kingdom Hearts? I'm just curious at this point. What is that? It's like a magical giraffe horse. Oh, and you got we got new bugs. Oh, they're just for Kingdom Hearts. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I like the Dream Eaters a lot. As I'm sure you can tell by how excited I was with Jimmy. What the? Whoa, whoa, what happened? Where'd my screen go? I'm sure I had some attack put on me. I just don't know what it is. What in the trip? It's a Tim Burton giraffe, obviously. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Find me a weird question. You're gonna go to your first comic con tomorrow. I might be meeting Zach. Galvin. I'm not getting nervous. I don't know who that is. Uh, this number one tip is just. I know y'all don't see it this way, but it's just a tip meeting anybody who's like known. We're normal people. <laughs> like, there is nothing to be, like, nervous or anything like that. It's just, we're normal folks. You know, this is just our job. So, like, I think it's funny. When my friends when my friends are with me, when people recognize me, they're always just kind of like, this is, just feels so surreal because you're just Brian. You just, you're just the guy who's just there being kind of a dork. So it's like, you know, just talk to him like you would anybody else. Oh, thank you for the hats off, Colin Mac uh Pearson. What hat would you like? The actor who plays Billy in Gremlins. Oh. Well, there you go. What hat would you like? It's an Evar fish. <laughs> <laughs> what? The Liberty of our people? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it's just you know, talk to them like you would anybody else. Just like Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey, I really enjoy your work in this. Thank yeah. you for being awesome. Okay, cool. 
Like, you know, you don't have to go. There's no reason to be nervous or anything. Especially at an event like this, because, like, people who come, like, like the celebrities and, like, the actors and all that who go to Comic-Con events, they're going to meet y'all, so... I know it's, uh, I know people say that they always feel uncomfortable around me, like, if I'm out and about, like, just having dinner somewhere or going to Disneyland and I'm not filming or something. And they're just like, I was scared to come up and talk to you. It's just like, that, that one I can kind of understand, even though I don't really care, personally. And I don't want to speak for everybody on that one. Um... Yeah, I know on that, it's like they're coming to meet people, so just come up and just talk to them. There's no reason to be nervous. Just, you know. Just have a nice, friendly chat. They're there to have nice, friendly chats with everybody. That's about it. Have I ever had paparazzi take pictures of me? Well, not an actual paparazzi. I have had pictures taken of me uh, without my knowledge until after the fact. That was interesting. Uh, there's been like a couple, there's been like a few websites or like, there's a few Instagram accounts. It's called like celebrities at Disneyland and stuff. And they specifically look for celebrities or well-known people at Disneyland. And they'll just, like, take their pictures and, like, say where they saw them on, like, what day. And I've had that happen a couple times. And it's kind of weird finding that picture. Um, and I'm just kind of like, why is there a picture of the back of my head on this site? <laughs> um, yeah, that's happened a few times. Or people will, like, see me at Disneyland or something and get excited. And they won't. They'll be afraid to come and talk to me. So they'll take a picture of wherever I am and like post it on their Instagram stories, but still tag me in it, just going like, "Oh my goodness, guys, I think that's Brian Hall." And I'm like, "You could have just come up and say hello. That's totally fine. You could have got a picture with you in there too." <laughs> oh my goodness. So if you count that as paparazzi, sure, but it's not like. I don't have, like, TMZ waiting outside my house or anything. Thank goodness for that. Oh, uh, Colin McPherson wants the Yoda here. You got it. All right, y'all, only 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left of the stream. You have all these uh, ideas of things you want to say when you meet someone, when you do meet your brain turns to mush. Well, that's that's part of the thing. It's just instead of seeing them as this person who did this amazing thing, just it's like, hey, this was a person. This is it's just another person who did something cool, but you know, they're just a person. Just go up and say, like, oh, hey, this thing you did was really cool. And that should help, like, calm you down. That's what I'd say. You would play this music in the background for ambiance. Oh, I've done that a few times. And, ooh. Hey, yeah. Ah! Evil Jimmies! Evil Jimmies! Hey. No! Get rid of the evil Jimmies! Uh, take a picture of you eating a slice of pizza and it's been weeks making fun of it. Did they even do that to Brian? No. I don't think TMZ knows who I am, and I'm totally okay with that. Um, I've never really had any issues with, like, you know, groups like that figuring out who I am. Uh, the closest I've gotten are, like, news stations, but they normally contact me and they just want to do an interview or something. That's as close as I ever get to stuff that uh, big publications would know who I was. But no, like, gossip columns and stuff really care about me, which is fine. They typically don't like me because I don't have a lot of drama. And I prefer my life that way. I don't want big, crazy drama. 
I, I have enough drama in my personal life. I don't need it in my business life. So where am I going? I know I'm supposed to be going to the water, the water gardens, but I don't know where that is. Oh, Fountain Plaza. There it is. Oh, yeah, Fountain Plaza. That's the main place, right? Oh, well, there we go. Found it! This is starting to wear me down. Can we get a timeout? Whoa, it's like a weird raven thing. Is that... Is that how a raven is like a writing test? Because he has... He has a little book! And he has a little bit like, I'm going to write some poetry. No, I don't need your help. Of course you do. Where are your dream eaters? How else can you fight? I don't need them anymore. Oh, right. Your party. Well, don't you want to make it out of the game? Who's going to help her if you get hurt? Okay, you win. I'll let you do the sweating. You're gonna let me do this wedding? Oh, gee, thank you. I'm gonna think when this is over. Hey, yeah! Yeah! What is with these magical horse drafts? Alright, Sora went up a level. Nice. Get Martin up a couple more levels. I want Kirka. <laughs> so if Jiminy is the little angel on your shoulder, does that make the raven a little devil? Kind of. Like, uh, Maleficent? Raven, I guess, maybe. Get the fish! I slung the fish. Flaps is in Sora's party? It is? Okay, we gotta put Martin in there. We don't need flaps in there. Tank sliding sidewinder. Ooh. He got away. Sora. So you must be Neku's partner. Yeah. I'm Shiki. Nice to meet you. Neku told me all about you. Cool. Good night. But where are the bones in her body? It's like her body hey, just Sora, <laughs> stop talking. Then what? Why? Does she not have a rib you cage? You need her. That's a good thing. What happened? That's sweet, Neku. I need you to stop annoying me. Dang, dude. Mm -hmm. Be nice. Well, I still think it's sweet. It's nice to be needed. I'm sorry. Is this a bad time? Because that dream eater we're after has retreated to the other imagining of this world. Other imagining? You mean where Riku is? Yes. He and our other friends will do what they can, but we'll just run ourselves in circles at this rate. We need to trap that thing in one place, and then we can finish it. Trap it where? The third district. Okay. <laughs> Why'd you stop, dude? Joshua. Yes, Neku? Tell me, are we really gonna make it home? But Neku, I thought you couldn't afford to lose. Give up on yourself, and you give up on the world. Right. So I'll see you there? Oh. Uh, me? Was this a... Yeah. Was this a My Square friend. Enix game, the it's not... your home, too. Whatever they're from. I forget the name of the game they're from. Maybe it's you that's turning into Sora. Huh? Thanks. Or is it Final Fantasy? Did Final Fantasy make Square? Did Square Enix make Final Fantasy? Oh, I don't know. All right, where's the save point? 
we got to decide because we don't got much longer. Yeah. Ow! Oh, fish! The fish stunned me! The world ends yeah. with you. That, so it was a... Uh, it was a Square Enix game? That would make sense why it was in here. I was just curious. And drop here? Okay, yeah. to go get Sora, uh, to go get a uh, Riku. Okay, that's fine. I'm sure like we'll start Riku off somewhere that has a save point, so that'll be good. Um, let's do an attack gain and uh, affinity gain, and we'll move on. Cool. Squaresoft made Final Fantasy, then later became Square Enix. Oh, okay. All right. So now where we go? So let's go here. We're not gonna do the dive. We just need to get in here, watch whatever cutscene it is, and then we'll save and move on. Traverse Town. Why am I back? Hmm? Joshua. Nice of you to join us. Josh, what? What happened? Trouble happened. I was hoping one of you could help. When did Sora get here? Bravo, Riku. Why can't he be this quick on the uptake? Yeah, well, Sora's a little... <laughs> now, let's get down to the problem. Mm -hmm. We've got a nasty dream eater on our hands. It ba -ba -ba. keeps jumping between worlds. Mm -hmm. Not only that, it knows how to summon creatures like it. Power Pretty lock, powerful hey? ones, too. Yeah, the, the others weird are raven on a thing. To stop it, but they need help. The others? You mean Shiki and her friends? That's right. They all found their game partners, and Shiki is over fighting in the other Traverse Town. In fact, Sora is helping them out. Good to hear. So, what can I do? Actually, the Dream Eater just reappeared in the Fountain Plaza. I sent Beat and his partner to face him. I'm on it. Don't go in there yet. We gotta save. Riku, there's something else you need to know. Uh -oh. hmm? These two Traverse Towns separated by the portal. I was under the impression they were parallel worlds. But it looks like I was wrong. Wrong how? That's where it gets tricky. After you and Sora left, Shiki crossed the portal to join her game partner. Oh! Did you notice players have a mission timer inscribed on their hands? Well, oh. when she got to the other side, Shiki had more time left on her clock than her partner. And oh. when Beat's partner crossed over from the other side, she had less time left. So time flows differently here and there? Well... So what? That's true of any two worlds. Their homeworld would be running on a different time axis, too. Yes, Kay. I understand that. But if these Traverse Towns were parallel worlds, then time would flow the same in both. But it doesn't. Ergo, they are not parallel worlds. Okay. You mean there's a past and a future? Wait, so no. Riku's in the Impossible. past? The no. worlds are clearly separate. It's not just time that sets them apart. As you yourself noted, every world flows at its own pace. Which tells me that for all their similarities, these are two distinct worlds. Okay. Distinct worlds? Yes. But this is all conjecture. It's all conjecture. It's like the same world imagined by two people. What does that tell you? That we're in... The spirit realm, Jim. Dream. <laughs> yes. Oh. Again, All this is a dream. Oh, that In makes sense. Case, dream drop distance. Bit, me or my friends. Oh, so none of this really matters. Sad. That's why everything I makes no sense. <laughs> right. Thanks. So you need me in the plaza? Wow. I'm running out of bravos. Be right back. All right. Um, if I remember correctly, there's a save point right up here behind the item shop. Buddha! I remember things! Alright. Cool. Alrighty, you guys. So, thank you so much.
for coming on to the stream today. Uh, next week, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know things are going to get a little wonky. I'm only going to be streaming two days next week. It's just going to be Monday and Wednesday, no Friday. Um, so, yeah, that'll be it for that. Um, so, yeah, next week, just Monday and Wednesday. Oh, excuse me. Dream Drop Distance on Monday and Wednesday, we have got more Epic Mickey 2. So uh, I will see you guys later. Have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.